exciting times. Mm. Are you easily scared, Tony? Uh, I'd like to think not, no. I think you Hopefully. might be scared. Right, by this? Yes, by right. what's about to come up now. I, 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 I'm actually quite petrified, to be honest. Now, it's an industry, Halloween, that's ballooned at a frightening rate. The scary business of the 31st of October is now worth more than £300 million in the UK compared to just £12 million in 2001. Well, for one farm in West Sussex, the nation's love of all things spooky has completely transformed its fortunes. Tully's Farm hosts what's widely billed as the country's greatest fright night. Obviously, you'd love it. Uh, it attracts visitors from all over Europe. But how scary is it? Well, I'm Jana Chicken Dad are going, so Ben Moore went along. Not and, on his own. Well, no, that's true. But just a reminder, his report what might be frightening for some of our younger viewers. They farm something a bit different in this part of the Sussex countryside. Fear. Crazy. So scary. Like, I've never experienced anything like it. <laughs> Bear everything, in it? Bear scary, I'm bare scared. This really is no ordinary farm. You're not going to find cows. Um, but what you are going to find is pigs with chainsaws, demons. You're going to have clowns. All sorts of crazy people are going to be running at you. There are eight mazes to choose from. Uh, I'm walking through and I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, I'm like, no, stop, 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 stop. Oh, at least a good nine, if not ten. Honestly, I'm surprised I've come out alive. <laughs> the haunted hayride has been running for nearly 20 years. A tractor pulls you through the woods where you're joined by all sorts of characters. Be warned though, these rides aren't for everyone. Some people do get terrified, they just can't deal with it. They'll get sent into the welfare unit and our welfare team will take over from there. But touch wood, um, those situations don't happen too often. Tully's farm started as a pick your own in the 90s. And after nearly a century in the hands of the same family, they decided to diversify. We had him acting on the hay road when he was about seven. So I get home from school, um, and he said, there you are, so I'm the, off in the woods for the evening and I'd see him at the end of the night. Um, <laughs> it's probably completely illegal against every kind of <laughs> label. It takes 400 staff to run one night. Behind the makeup and masks are highly trained actors. We have a word for it, which is called scare aware. We are taught how to get in and get out again as quickly as possible, because of course, if you are in the way and an elbow comes up, you might get nutted in the head. Tully's doesn't advertise in the regular way. It uses social media and invites celebrities to visit to spread the word. Its audience are young, and 80,000 have come here from across the UK this October, each paying between 24 and 70 pounds a ticket. It is certainly a profitable business. People seem to spend, want to spend money on entertainment. Does it um, make you millions over, over the It makes story? us a lot of money. Ben Moore, BBC South Today. <laughs> That would be me. Oh, wow. yeah. That last guy would have been me. Yeah. <laughs> it's very interesting how it's kind of become such a big thing because uh, uh, to so many people watching, I don't think it was, really ever was. Yeah. Bonfire night was the big thing. In now, our day, Tony. In our day, I'm sort of sounding old now. <laughs> now, there was a gory guard on the gates of Corfe Castle when Rachel Baker paid a visit earlier on. And uh, Neil Cooper had a spooky encounter in Bognor Regis. Now, I think Alexis has got herself into a bit of trouble back at Tully's Farm in West Sussex. No surprise there. Hi there, Alexis. You got out of that cage. Yes, uh, slightly OK, yeah. I'm out of the cage at the moment, but we're here at Tully's Farm, just outside the colony, which is one of eight haunts here. Two and a half thousand people are expected to enjoy a really spectacular night tonight, and they're going to be entertained by um, 200 actors playing in character. Um, this is the stuff of nightmares. <laughs> uh, the Silent Twins over here, yeah, you wouldn't really want to meet them in a dark alley, would you? No, but we do have some slightly upbeat characters who are going to sing us a sea shanty. Take it away, guys. What shall we do with a drunken sailor? What shall we do with a drunken now this event is ongoing until the 4th of November. It's not on tomorrow, but it is on from Friday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Saturday has nearly sold out, but the weather actually has been really, really good over the last few days. Will it be good? 
as we head towards the weekend for bonfire night. Let's take a look at the satellite picture from earlier on. We had a fair amount of cloud across the country earlier on this morning and that cloud brought us the odd spot of rain with a high of around 13 to 14 Celsius. Now during the course of tonight we are expecting um, clear skies in places which will allow some mist and fog patches to form. Temperatures will fall away to around 6 or 7 Celsius in the countryside, maybe down to 5 Celsius in more rural areas. So through the course of tomorrow morning, there will be a good deal of sunshine. Some patchy cloud here and there, the mist and fog will lift. And once it does, temperatures will range between 7 and 11 Celsius. And through tomorrow afternoon, we'll have some lovely sunny conditions. Perhaps a little bit of fair weather cloud building during the course of the day, turning the sunshine hazy. But all in all, highs tomorrow of around 13 to 14 Celsius. So a decent day, a dry day with some decent amounts of sunshine. Now the cloud will start to build tomorrow night and with that we may have some patchy drizzle. During the early hours of tomorrow night we can expect uh, temperatures to fall away to around 7 to 11 Celsius. So it really is quite a cloudy night tomorrow night with some drizzle here and there but a decent day tomorrow. As I said temperatures tomorrow night will fall away to around 6 to 8 Celsius. They could be slightly lower than that in the countryside. Now through the course of Thursday there will be a lot of clouds and some patchy rain at times. It's a mainly dry day. Friday we will see more in the way of cloud as well. One or two bright spells for the south coast and some rain, more persistent rain expected Friday night into Saturday. Saturday as a whole if you're out for bonfire night we are expecting one or two showers. So from Tully's Farm back to you. Thank you Alexis. Stay safe there. <laughs> <laughs> Rather Alexis me. and all her fans there for us. Lovely. We'll be back tomorrow. Thank you for watching. Good night.